What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be working on the EK chassis and start messing with shit underneath the engine bay. So we're going to start unplugging the radiator, cruise control, power steering, all that good stuff. Whatever extra wiring that's in there. And so basically we just want to get it ready so that when the engine hoist is here we could just pull the motor out, separate the trans, paint the trans, grease the trans, Put the trans on this bad boy, the B20, the B20V. That way we could then pull that with the engine hoist. Drop that motherfucker in. So the motor that's in the EK chassis right now is B16B from HMO. So we're gonna be taking out the cruise control, power steering, as well as the radiator, radiator hoses, just all that unloose, unnecessary stuff, you know. Alright, so we took out the radiator, cruise control, the radiator hoses, the fan, the reservoir, as well as just the extra hoses and whatever was just loose hanging in the engine bay. And it's already just cleaned up so much. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So we took out the radiator, the reservoir, all those little extra hoses right here that were leading to the uh, firewall, as well as disconnected the power steering mechanism from the motor. Took off the cruise control. And we uh, unplugged the fuel injectors. Got a couple more things to unplug, like the TPS, your map sensor, but just already so much clearance. Real quick, I wanted to show you guys that the Hasport mounts came in the mail and they look fucking amazing. Come check them out. I got the uh, driver's side post mount right here, the T-bracket one in the middle, and then the trans mount on the right, as well as the post bracket, which goes right here in this spot. Basically the trans right here, and then the T-bracket in the back back there. All right, so we unplugged the map sensor, the TPS sensor. We just gotta do a couple more things, like the throttle cable, as well as a couple grounds. Speaking of grounds though, make sure you check your grounds because I found this. It just snapped right off the trans ground. Let's make sure you check your grounds. And we also put the driver's side mount on to see what it would look like. And That's going to be a wrap for today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. That being said, make sure you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys on the next video.